Yep, they announced that uh, 28 men in the G1. And Four blocks of seven, which yeah. means instead of nine matches, everyone's going to do six. So physically, it will be a lot easier. I find it... Um, I was not that impressed with G1 when they announced all the, the, the things. It's like, I'm sure there will be good matches, but um, like, no Minoru Suzuki, right? Well, here's the lineup. Okada, Tanahashi, which to me means he's not winning the AW interim title, but they did claim he might take it and defend it, or not defend it, but like the AW interim champion could come to the G1, they said. Yeah. Uh, Naito, Goto, Tamatanga, Shingo, Chase Owens, Bad Luck Fale, Yujiro, Evil. Yujiro. Yujiro. Uh, Yujiro. Our own filthy Tom Lawler is so going Tom, to be in the G1. So he's going to have six six big singles matches with pretty high caliber opponents, most likely. Yep. Juice Robinson, Jonah will be in the yeah. G1. That's Yoshihashi, Toriyano, Ishii, Jeff Cobb, Great Okan, Will Ospreay, Aaron Hanare, Sonata, Jay White, Kenta, El Fantasmo, Taichi, Zack Sabre Jr., David Finley, and yes, Lance Archer. Lance Archer got the biggest AEW. pop. Lance Archer got the biggest pop of anyone when they announced it. He did. All the foreigners got big pops. Like Filthy got a big pop. And Tom Waller got a good pop. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Lance Archer got a big pop. And uh, Jay White as well. Jay White, Jay White got a big pop. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, Fantasmo. But I, 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 um, you know, I mean, it's like, like, I don't know. I wasn't, you know, 28. In, you know, for the four blocks is interesting, I guess. We'll see. Um, you know, I, I I mean, we'll see. I, I, I like the idea. You know, to me, the nine matches is better than the six. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe because it's the six, it gives guys a chance to go all out more, um, risk injury less. And if that's the case, because guys do get really beat up in that tournament, then, then I guess it's a it's a positive, but it's just I don't I didn't like I knew none of the top like the Brian Danielson type of guys who would like to do it weren't going to do it this year because <laughs> you know they're not going to do it until <clears throat> fans can cheer and boo. So and 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 also <clears throat> as much as I think there's <clears throat> excuse me man there's a part of all of them that um, would want to do it. You know, when it comes to like Moxley and Danielson, when they have, you know, the, 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 the kids, the young kids, I don't think they really, like, I think there's a part of them where they really want to do G1 and everything like that and go through it. And I think it's very exciting to them, the different matches with the different guys. But they have young kids and I don't know that they really want to be in Japan for four straight weeks. Um, but, you know, none of, they're not in it. And also, you know, from a Tony Khan standpoint, um, you know, Tony Khan doesn't want his top guys, like he'll, he could have them miss a week, and they could go and do, you know, like uh, Dominion, although, you know, nobody did. But, you know, like big shows like that, and, and it would be fine, you know, especially if they're weekend shows. But, um, you know, the one he's, the one that they're sending is Archer, who, you know, you could go a month without Lance Archer in AEW, and no one's going to notice anyway. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, and also, I guess, you know, it's official, no Kota Ibushi, no Minoru Suzuki, and those two guys are always keys in G1. No Kojima, who is not a big deal. You know, Kojima had the big match with Goshiozaki, um, or has it. It's probably coming on in a couple hours, or it's, if it's not happening right now, right, at this, right as we're speaking. But, um, <clears throat> you know, there's there's a lot of guys that are very <clears throat> good workers that, <clears throat> that give you big matches in G1. Um that aren't in it this year and the guys like the will ospreys and shingo takagi's that you expect to have like all these great matches they're gonna have six not you know and and maybe one of them will be against somebody like a yujiro where let's face it you know what i mean it's like it's there's guys in there that aren't gonna have good matches and there's there's enough of them that i think every block will have one of them so um you know whatever i mean g1 i mean you know again historically g1's when you have the best matches of the year you know the the quick you know you're gonna have like more matches of the year candidates in that one month period than any other one month period by a large margin but um yeah a lot of the guys that are um 
you know, that you expect to be, you know, G1 killers uh, um, are not in the G1 this year. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.